The owner of Blossom Bathhouse says she was paying her parking meter before work when a man came up to her and started yelling racial slurs, then came and knocked out the windows of her front door before heading down the street towards the river. Because you saw the crazy in his eyes. Like, it was not a normal situation. It was like pure hatred in his eyes. Jasmine Bonnet is the owner of Blossom Bath House, selling bath and beauty products in Old Sacramento. She says 55-year-old Ross Wolfer yelled the N-word at her Thursday afternoon, along with other racial slurs while she was at work, then proceeded to break into her store, shattering the glass doors. As he kicked the whole thing in, and his whole foot, like if he could, he would have came inside. But the loudness of the breaking glass and him breaking the door, like everyone came out. That's when Muhammad Azif, who owns Old Sack Shirts and Gifts next door, ran outside hearing the commotion to find Bonnet had been injured by the broken glass. Very scared and yeah, I think she got some, um, you know, a little bit injured. She was the blood was coming out from her hand. Sacramento Police Department says Wolfer was arrested for burglary, vandalism, and hate crime related charges. Bonnet says even with the attack happening in broad daylight, she felt it was difficult for her to prove to law enforcement that it was a hate crime. It was almost like pulling teeth to get them to admit it during the whole entire process. So I, I kept saying it, I kept repeating like, this is what he said to me. Like, this is a hate crime. Bonnet feels there needs to be stricter laws for hate crimes because she says even though an arrest was made, her attacker may still run free. And they were giving me warnings um, that it might not stick because it, it's a misdemeanor hate crime. He didn't actually beat me to a pulp or rape me or do anything of that kind of nature. The Sacramento Police Department says that the district attorney's office is now taking over this case. But as for the owner, she says she's an Oak Park native and won't let this racist act scare her from keeping her business open.